Assalamu alaikum everybody hope you are fine and welcome back to another class I am your trainer Mohammed Snawar and today we are going to talk about how to set up a new project inside Premiere Pro and which things are important in video detail so that when you export your video and your video format give good result and we will also talk about what is time code resolution of video and also discuss project window in detail so come on guys and let's do this job so first of all I have a question what is video actually the video is a sequence of detail if we have a photo camera and it will simply take a picture but in video camera it is continuously capture multiple pictures and show you in a sequence so how many pictures are captured while shooting video if we talk about some global standard like 24 frame per second and 30 frame per second and 60 frame per second etc so question is that what is frame our one picture is actually over one frame so if I talk about real camera this camera is capturing 24 pictures at a time so this is 24 FPS means to say 24 frame per second Anyways, if I talk about global standards which are broadcast like Pakistan, India or Middle East countries are using PAL standard stand for phase alternative line and this is our broadcast standard that contain frame rate of 25 FPS. If we talk about other countries like North America or other countries are using NTSC stand for National Television System Committee which contains 30 FPS or 29.97 frame per second and you can get both choices in your camera either you want to follow PAL standard or either you want to follow NTSC standard this is your choice so why I am telling you these things because all these things you will see while creating sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro and nowadays we are using HD standards like contain 720px or 1080px you can see here so 720px means width of 1280px and height of 720px of video and if I talk about full HD like 1080 so 1920px width and 1080px height of your video so you must know about these things as you are going to edit your video so that's important to know some of the people ask me about how to convert low quality video to high quality video but this is impossible for high quality video you have to shoot or download high quality standards and later on I will show you how to download and from where you can get free HD videos for editing and that's it so anyways and let's create a new project so start the program and once you start it up you are gonna get this window here and that gives you some options either you can see a recent project or whether you want to create a new project so this is your choice once you start a new project we get a lot of options here you can give the name of your project and I am going to mention my project name is first edit and here you can select your location where you want to save and create new folder here and select this folder that's it and go down and there are some general options the first one is video rendering and playback and next one is video format and uh, here check these options look at here time code so what is time code time code is actually if I take an example of watch you can see a digital watch in normal digital watches it contains hours minutes and seconds and in videos one thing more is added that is frame so keep in mind if you are shooting video of 25 FPS so 24 frames will be there and then increment in seconds so after every 25 FPS it will increment one second if your standard is 25 frame per second so as you know after every 60 second it will increment in your minutes so same as that and so on so same as that in case of 30 FPS so if you are shooting on 60 FPS or 50 FPS using Canon camera and uh, and in Sony camera or iPhone they have slow motion effect that contain 240 FPS so all these things we will discuss later because I don't want to confuse you but for the time you just keep in mind 24 25 or 30 FPS you can either choose the display format which should be set to the time code we can also choose our audio display format which I'm just gonna go ahead and set to audio for samples here is capture format and we don't need of this option because we are not going to capture anything and captured means if you have an DV or tape camera or any other devices and you do actually plug in camera to your computer because this one just basically says that what kind of format your camera is or what type of camera you are connected to computer if you want to extract footage directly from the camera so this one you don't need to touch so you don't need to worry about it saying SDV or just DV so don't worry about that now inside our scratch disk we can choose which here we want to save small files which are called scratch file and these files just basically increases the performance inside the project now as a default it's safe to scratch file inside and the same path as you choose as a default location for the project so this one down here you don't actually need to touch to do anything with so to set up a basic project all you need to do is name it and choose where to save it and then we are just gonna go ahead and next last thing is inside the setting but leave this thing for the time being that's it and click ok now soon as you set up a new project that's gonna look like 
this it's gonna have a couple of toolbars and it's gonna have different apps in it and it's gonna have decibel meter down here in the right side and uh, it's basically how a new project look like this and uh, when you have nothing inside of it yet so we don't have a timeline we don't have any footage we don't have any audio file we don't have anything yet so in next class we are actually gonna talk about what these windows do and uh, after that we have done that so we will then gonna talk about how to set up our new timeline so we can actually see some of the things inside our PV window and in our timeline so I hope so you enjoyed this lecture and I will see you guys in next class and have a good day Allah Hafiz